Right folks, after a nice gentle slow plod up the hill from Lynch Lane, Cheddar, I'm on this lower path. The gorge is over that way and there's a big parallel path up the top there, a track I often use, especially in the winter, mainly in the winter. There are cows that drift here, the long horned variety usually. That seem to be quite placid cows. I've just got to get on the right track now because what I don't want to do is head down into a field. I need to try and remember where I went before and I'm not sure if it's not up there so at the moment I'm just plodding down this little lane which I've done before but because I haven't done it that frequently over this past couple of years a lot of the tracks look similar even when they look similar it could still be I'm going the wrong way I'm going the right direction there's a nice path up there I'm going to be following this is all all a nature reserve around here. At the moment, just going back to travelling here by bus, the buses are running normally at the moment. Boris Johnson has just told everyone to take care, use the masks, keep your distance. He's not introducing any new restrictions at the moment, even though hospitalised Hospital admissions are on the increase. They always are this time of year. As a nurse, I know, during this month particularly, there is a huge increase in admissions. We always, all the wards had to make the extra bed years ago. And uh, so really, though they're emphasising there's lots of admissions, I think it's about normal, really. It's just that they're using COVID as an excuse for everything. <sighs> you know, um, there's always been that problem. They've never really gone out of their way to sort it in the past. Staff shortages and... Increasing numbers in the winter. Just looking at this, this has all been harvested, look. The bracken's all been piled up and there's someone to come and bail that. I don't know if they feed it to the animals or if it goes on the land somewhere. Anyway, it's a lovely day today. I really needed, rather than go out with others today, because I haven't been out on a big walk for over three weeks and I'm normally out two or three at least twice a week all year round minimum it hasn't happened because the weather has been horrendous it's the weather of the future they say because of the global warming with global warming you're going to get more ice melting more rain and wind so it affects the the, the air everything changes when there's more water melted. So, the reason I, I really needed this walk today for quiet reflection, really. And I'm always a bit wheezy when I first go out, if I've had a break. You know, until I guess start getting into my proper walking strides again. So to go out with somebody else that... They have very long legs, both of them, and they walk. They don't even know they're walking fast, but they're walking fast to me. And I do struggle to keep up with them, really. And then you can see people get fed up waiting. You do. That's, what, that's why I like to go out on my own, because I am a plodder. I'm a plodding reflector. I've had a break from the camera though, all over Christmas I hardly took any photos at all. None in fact. <coughs> I didn't take any family photos. Didn't really see any family. 
because of, because of COVID and restrictions. So basically, what am I saying? What you're saying is there was no one to photograph. I mean, I've over the years I've taken so many photographs of family at Christmas time when the kids were growing up. Then once I got video, I used to video. <laughs> oh, God, I'm very wheezy today. Oh. It's good though. What it is, it's getting out the stale air. You get air that gets trapped in the bottom of your lungs. And uh, you need to get the rib cage really moving to get it to shift. Because that stale air needs to be removed and nice fresh oxygenated air put in your lungs. Now by the end of this walk, <coughs> I might be a bit tired. But the benefit would be the rib cage working, extracting all that stale air, and the wheeze will probably go. Sometimes, and uh, the inhaler is useful, but normally I find if I just keep walking, eventually my breathing will return. But like I said, if I went up with someone else when I was like this. I would find it difficult and I would feel like I was in hippies in their day, their walk. I'm capturing this because there's a lot of people like me who do have some breathing issues and some people just don't think they can walk. The be I mean the best thing is to walk. My doctors have been telling me that for years. When I was younger, they used to say, run. Run, Sheila, jog. But you go with your age. <coughs> I think if I'd stop, not stop running and swimming, I would have been fitter. I, at one time, I blamed the chlorine in the water for causing me to have breathing problems. But I don't think it was, but I think the chlorine did affect me. It was very strong what they used to put in the pools. My eyes used to be raw. I had to wear goggles. Like I said, I'm very, very wheezy at the moment. I don't, you might even pick up the odd wheeze. <coughs> and if I cough, that's a good thing. Coughing is good. It helps to remove the muck. <sighs> remove the air, stale air. <sighs> I mean, obviously, I'm uh, taking it steady. I'm taking it steady. So that the body will adapt to this walk. I'm hoping by the time I get up to the alipaca field, I'll be breathing all right, but I, not right away because I've got to climb a big hill. I've got a big hill to climb first. Right then, folks. Gorse is looking nice. Hi, everyone. There's cow pack about. There are cows about, but I do think they're the longhorn variety. See. I'm not sure, when I get up here is where it's a possible risk and I might have to climb up on the top there quicker. The risk could be that a big herd are still kept out. <sighs> Do you know what I mean? Because the weather is mild for the, for the cows. Why keep them in a barn when it's nice weather? See that don't look that long ago. Right, over and out. Right, as you can see, cheddar's down there. I've climbed steadily from the, right down, right down in cheddar. I've climbed a slow climb. And as you can see, fresh evidence of cow here. Cow on the run, I'd say, the way they're going, they're slipping and sliding. So I think they're probably further over. 
I've got no idea. But they've certainly been here recently. That could be a day old though. It's a bit crusty. I'm just trying to see how they got here. How they got in here. Have they come down from up there? I've got the sun in my eyes so I can't see. But in through this gate, which is what I narrowly got through a couple of months ago to escape a herd that were in there. I've got no idea if the farmer has kept them out. The cows, I mean, because the weather's so mild. I don't know. There is a big herd that never, that, 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 that are kept in over there. They don't really roam in the public footpath area. Not really. So, I'm not quite sure where the cows, whether the cows have come from up there on, on the hill there. What a gorgeous scene now, look. Oh, I've longed to come out here. What a beautiful scene. My lovely Mendip Hills, look. The reservoir, Brent Knoll, Crook Peak. And Glastonbury has also been in view today. Oh, it's been a steady climb and I've, my lungs have really felt it, believe me. All that stale air after not a decent walk for, since I was last over here. A good three, three and a half weeks ago. Because of the weather. Mainly because of the weather. It's beautiful now. Oh, I can breathe. So anyway, this is called Bobwith Acres Nature Reserve. There was a sign similar. In that field has, can be cows. What I did last time, I had to skirt, get up on the hill there. But it looks to me as if the cows could have could be up there on that hill as well. They've got they've got woods to go in. They've got quite a wide area actually. Right, I'm just going to get over the gate. One, two, three. the wind going. be my daughter George's birthday. She shares it with Elvis and David Bowie, the 8th of January. But she's still very much alive, thank goodness. There'd be lots of type of celebrations for David Bowie, but of course some countries have actually got restrictions in place. And uh, so in some concerts probably might be, have to be cancelled or zoomed. Just beyond there could be cows, just beyond that ridge for all I know. There's a lime kiln up here. I shall, usually I climb up there to have a look round. And then you can see where the cows are rather than going round and walking straight into them, see? Yeah, last time I, I came down from there. I couldn't find the gate. I was looking for the gate because it's sort of hidden there. I found it in the end. There's a gate up there. So that gate shut. I got a feeling that gate was open before, but like I say, you can't tell yet where the cows are. 
until I get further over. I'm going over towards the lime kiln. I've videoed quite a few times now. And uh, on many, many videos and photos I've done over the years. These are the first one of 2022. Right? No cows here. Doesn't mean they can't get in through a gap there though. Because the cows further over, they're always out. Oh, I've got the sun right in my eyes, but I just want to go up to this this line count in a minute. Turn the camera that way. Yeah, last time I was there, the cows were. I think I can see some cows over there. Darted about, I'm not sure if they are. I've got to go through a field over there in a minute. If I climb up above the lime kiln, I'll be able to see where the cows are. Where's the lime kiln? Oh, here it is. Right, here we go. Here's the lime kiln, everyone. Yeah, there's cows over there. I'll just zoom in. Yeah, that's cows. That could be the long horn variety though. But there's the barns up there. Usually always cows up there. Alright, over and out. <sighs> 